Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today we're going to discuss further into the laboratory project and now look at uh, part two of the running circles around circles video series and basically go over question two of this laboratory project. Again, a recap. Labor uh, the laboratory projects are uh, some very interesting projects at the end of some of my chapter, some of the chapters in my calculus book. And uh, yes, I'm going over this one, which is quite interesting. So make sure to check out part one, which I went over question one, which is the I derived the formula for uh, for the parametric uh, equations for a hypocycloid, which is a circle like this that ru that runs around another circle, and then the point on this inner circle is traced along. And then uh, I showed that you get these equations, and now let's look at part two in this video. So it says to use a graphing device to draw the graphs of hypocycloids with A being a positive integer and B equaling, equaling one. So you had uh, A and B in these equations. So now we have specific values and also see how it changes with A. And then it says how does the values value of A affect the graph and then also in this part it says show that if we take A equals four then the parametric equations of the hypocycloid reduce to x equals to 4 cosine cubed theta, y equals to 4 sine cubed theta. And this curve is called a hypocycloid of four cusps or an asteroid. So let's look at this question. So question two, so what we're doing is uh, basically set values of a, but we are, we're also given b is equal to 1. So when we set b equals to 1, we have x equals 2, and let's just uh, then we just put yeah x equals to this and then a minus one so b is one so we have cosine theta b cosine like that another one sine and minus so let's write this down this is going to be a minus one cosine theta plus b which is one cosine and now we have uh, a minus uh, one divided by one so this is just going to be a minus one divided by one same thing as just writing uh, a minus 1 and then fade out like that and y is equal to a minus 1 sine theta and then minus by b is 1 so that's in front is it becomes sine and then a minus 1 over 1 is just a minus 1 like that and then we could put a theta like that so that's what the equations that we have and now what we could do is if we can graph this out and again here's a Desmos calculator I put this all inside and then you could uh, change the values of A so let's just go and see it some quite fascinating stuff here and I highly recommend uh, checking this uh, calculator out so this is one I made and here I've uh, made it so let me just pause these, this animation uh, so right here is the equation I put you can put this in parametric form and let's just click this. So this, uh, so the way to do it is this is the x coordinate is a minus one cosine t. I put t because you can't put theta. So just uh, then we have cosine a minus one t or theta, same thing. Just in this calculator, yeah, I can't use theta, so I use t. So then the y coordinate is over here, and then uh, I've graphed it from zero to two pi. So because that's actually a full rotation. So if you let's say to erase this, you get something like that. If you write pi, we get half of it, and a full rotation is 2 pi, like that, and it goes all the way there, and and then this is the a value, I've made it so you could change this, and then you can see how it moves, and I have it go from 0 to 10, because uh, a, is a, a is a positive integer uh, for a hypocycloid, and as you can see what happens, when you have a equals to 0, and then here, if you click here, it shows the label, so I've also put that in here, and in this case, I'm changing the z, which is the same as the, the theta. So basically, I'm changing the angle t or theta in here so that we can get a specific point, just to get you, uh, uh, just to show you what I mean. So if you move this, so you notice the point that's getting moved. So basically, this is the exact same formula, but now instead of changing a, I'm changing the z, so we graph a specific point, and this one graphs the entire curve from 0 to 2 pi. And this is just to show you how the parametric equation moves around it. Quite amazing. And you could also press play and it will move along like that. And you can also press play here and you'll see how the curve changes. And you could press here and you could slow it down. You could change the uh, increments. Uh, you could, yes, if you click here, you can change the increments and change the step size, etc. So you could play around with it. 
So as you can see, it goes something like this. And let's just play here. I'm going to, uh, let's just speed it up. So this is when a equals to, uh, let's just slow it down. When you have a equals to 6, we have something that looks like this. Let's pause this, actually, here. pause it, a equals to 5. I'll pause this. So when we have a equals to 5, it looks like, uh, it looks like a, a star here. But it, if you count these, these are called cusps. Uh, each of these sharp points, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, same as a. If we have uh, a is 6, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, yeah, so we have 6, 7 here for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So yeah, basically, uh, we have uh, a is the number of cusps. But if you, yeah, for whenever you get, yeah, for whatever a value is, except when you start at 0, and if you click here, show label, when we have a equals 0, we just have a trivial uh, value. A, everything is just 0. So 0, 0. When a equals to 1, we have... 0 and 1, that's all it is. When a equals to 2, we just have a line like this from, uh, n from negative 2 to 2. And you can play, just goes back and forth. But then once you get bigger than 2, so you go to 3, and uh, where a is again a positive integer, we have, as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 3 cusps. And this one is symmetric about the x axis like this. And then when you go to 4, you have 4 cusps. That's our asteroid, uh, another yeah, this or the uh, hypocycloid of four cusps, etc. And as you see, it's uh, symmetric about the x and y coordinates, uh, uh, axis. I mean, and then again, so for five, it's uh, uh, it's symmetric about the x axis, six about both. So when it's even number, it's symmetric about both axes. And then when it's odd, it's symmetric about only the x axis. And this is all for greater than uh, two for a is greater than 2. So I've written this down. So for a equals 0, the solution is the point 0, 1. For a equals to 1, the solution is, uh, is the point 1, 0. For a equals 2, the solution is a point that travels back and forth along the line from negative 2, 0 to 2, 1. So those coordinates. And for a equals to 2, we obtain a hypocycloid of a cusp. So this one here, if it's a is 3, we have 1, 2, three, three cusps. But then here we have a equals 10, and we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 cusps like that. And then also note that for, yeah, that for a is uh, greater than 2, even values of a uh, produce a symmetric, yeah, even values, not not sitting as well or whatnot. Or, so basically, yeah, so even values of a produce a symmetric shape. Uh, but uh, about both the x and y axis, so about this axis and this one here, it's you could just reflect them back and forth. So you could reflect this back and forth like this, and it's the exact same thing. But for odd values of a, the curve is symmetric about only the x axis. So for this one's an odd, it's only symmetric about the x axis, so back and forth like that. So now let's look at if a equals to 4 and then try to prove, uh, let's just write that down. So our goal is to prove that if a equals to 4, we have this, x equals 4 cosine cubed, y equals to sine, uh, 4 sine cubed. And now, so to do that, so let's put a line like this. So if a equals to 4, we have x equals 2 x equals to uh, b minus 1. Remember, b minus 1, before I get to this, actually, I said I was right. B minus one. See, not B minus. This is a minus a minus b equals to a minus one, which equals two, and then a is four. So we have four minus one is equal to three. So that's where the three comes from, and we could plug this in. So we have x equals two, where we had a minus one, which is going to be three, cosine theta plus b, which is one cosine, and now we have the. Um, uh, the a minus b, if we go all the way up here, so we have over here a minus 1, that's just, uh, yeah, it's just 3. So 3 theta, so cosine 3 theta. So then we have cosine 3 theta like that, and then for the y's, we have y equals 2, again, a minus 1 is just going to be 3 sine theta minus sine, and then the same thing, a minus 1 over 1 is just 3 theta like that. So 3 minus, uh, yeah, 3 theta, like that. 
And now, if you recall from my earlier videos, I went over the trig identities for cosine 3 theta and sine 3 theta, or cosine, but I used x instead of theta. So anyway, so recall from my earlier videos that cosine 3 theta is simply equal to 4 cosine cube theta minus 3 cosine theta. And I'll put the video uh, link below in the description, so check that out for the proof. And then sine 3 theta equals 2. Uh, this one is 4. Actually, not 4. This is uh, it's 3 sine uh, 3 sine theta minus 4 sine uh, 3 cubed. Yeah, so in other words, uh, you could even write this to make it look very similar to that. It's just going to be negative 4 sine uh, cubed theta plus 3 sine theta. So as you can see, the, the only difference is that we just switch uh, sine and cosine, but now we put a negative instead. So just to make it look similar to this one here. So anyways, now if we plug that inside both of them, we have x is equal to um, yeah, x equals to 3 cosine theta. And here I'll just put this like this. So we're going to throw this inside there. And then the other one, we're going to throw that in there like this. Like that. And now if we write this down, so 3 cosine theta plus cosine 3 theta is going to be plus 4 cosine 3 theta. Uh, yeah, plus cosine uh, cube theta, yeah, not 3 theta. Like that minus 3 cosine theta. And now what we end up getting is, is over here. This 3 cosine theta cancels with this. And what we're left with is this 4 cosine cubed theta. So we've removed the 3 theta in the angle, or the angle 3 theta in the cosine. And now we're left with this over here. So x is equal to this. And this is, in fact, the, uh, the right answer that we were trying to prove. Now for y, we have 3 sine theta minus uh, sine 3 theta. And now this is going to be our 3 sine theta. And then minus, we become a plus. This is going to be plus 4 sine uh, 3 theta. And then these just cancel, and we're just left with y is equal to 4 sine 3 theta. So that's what we have there. And this is, yeah, this is what we were trying to solve. And let's just uh, double check that. So we have all the way here. So for x is a 4 cosine cubed theta. And then y is 4 sine uh, cubed theta. Like that. And that's the, the cubed over there. So basically, x is just a cosine, y is sine, and they're both cubed. And now here, I've just copied and pasted uh, what the graph would look like if you were to graph it out. Yeah, actually, I just fixed that up, uh, that screenshot a bit better. I just opened up this uh, formula just to show you again. This is our, this is uh, same thing as theta. The t is theta. So you have here, this is yeah, four cusp like that. So one, two, three, four. Four. Then see what erase it. So as you guess, as you can see, there's four cusps just to show you, and this is called an asteroid, like that, just because it kind of looks something like an asteroid. I, I guess I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, that's that's how the shape looks like. And again, this z is also just our theta as well. It's just for a second graph, and that's for this point here, just to clarify. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. I've actually, uh, and also just want to point out, I, I just changed all the screenshots here to include the full formula, because I forgot that it wasn't fully included in the screenshots, in case you download these notes and want to use it for reference, etc. So now you have all these, uh, yeah, all the formulas in there correctly stated. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learn, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.